Lung cancer is one of the leading causes of death in the United States, accounting for more than 150,000 mortalities each year. It's a disease that occurs in approximately 1 in 17 adults. Most lung cancer cases fail to show symptoms until the disease has spread to other parts of the body. However, some early warning signs can raise suspicion and prompt individuals to see a doctor for further testing. Which is the topic of this video because we're going to share the top 10 early warning signs of lung cancer that you must be aware of. Be sure to watch until the end because there's one that may surprise you. So if you're ready, let's get into it. The first early warning sign on our list is a persistent cough. Now, of course, there are many different causes of coughing. However, if you have a cough that persists and just won't go away, it could be cause for concern. Studies have shown that a chronic cough is present in the majority of people with lung cancer. If you do have a chronic cough, this is not a reason to panic as it's not always an indication of the disease. However, you should consider seeing a doctor for further testing. This is especially true if you have a persistent cough that is accompanied by other symptoms on this list. Which leads us to the next early warning sign, and it is coughing up blood. Hemoptysis may occur in some cases of lung cancer, which is a term used to describe coughing up blood. This generally happens when there's bleeding in the lungs or airways. For example, if there's a tumor in your lungs that continues to expand, it may eventually rupture a blood vessel, leading to bleeding. While this sign can be alarming, it's important to remember that it's not always indicative of lung cancer. Hemoptysis may sometimes be caused by other conditions such as pneumonia, tuberculosis, lung infections, or a traumatic injury. You might even be coughing up blood because acid reflux has gradually eroded your lining, leading to this unwanted symptom. However, coughing up blood is a serious finding and should be investigated further, regardless of the cause. Number 3 on our list is Night Sweats Do you often wake up drenched in sweat in the middle of the night? If so, it could be a sign of lung cancer, as this symptom is often associated with multiple types of cancer. Night sweats generally are defined as several hot flashes that occur during sleep. When your body tries to fight cancer, significant changes in hormone levels can trigger excessive sweating. While it's not unusual for someone to sweat if the room is a bit hot, there is a difference between that and sweating through your sheets at night. Therefore, if you regularly experience night sweats, you must see a doctor for further evaluation. Next up on our list is chest pain, which is another one of those more common warning signs of lung cancer. This symptom is especially worrisome if accompanied by dyspnea and shortness of breath. Studies have shown that approximately 40% of patients with lung cancer have chest pain at the time of diagnosis. However, not all types of lung cancer are associated with chest pain. If a tumor is present in the lungs, as it grows and expands, it can compress nearby structures, leading to chest pain and difficulty breathing. Additionally, if the tumor spreads to the bones or other organs, it can also cause pain in those areas. Of course, chest pain is a symptom associated with many other conditions such as heart disease, stress, and anxiety. However, if you experience this symptom regularly, you must see a doctor for further testing. The next early warning sign that we need to discuss is hoarseness. If you've noticed that your voice has become hoarse or raspy, it could be an early warning sign of lung cancer. Studies have shown that patients with small cell lung cancer often present with hoarseness. In general, hoarseness develops when the vocal cords do not vibrate as they should, creating an unusually breathy sound. Lung cancer is most likely not the cause of this finding. However, in rare cases, it may be a sign of a tumor pressing on the vocal cords. Therefore, if your voice has changed and you cannot attribute it to cold or other respiratory infection, it's important to seek medical help to determine the underlying cause. Another early warning sign that I should mention is loss of appetite. Cancer cells can release substance that alter how your body processes food, leading to a loss of appetite. This explains why weight loss is a common symptom of lung cancer. A study found that approximately two-thirds of patients with lung cancer eventually develop this symptom. There are some situations where it may show up early in the course of the disease and others where it may not appear until the later stages. In any case, the sooner you notice this symptom, the better. A loss of appetite can quickly lead to weight loss and malnutrition, which can negatively impact your health. 
which leads to the sign on our list, and it is unexplained weight loss. If patients with lung cancer have a loss of appetite, it only makes sense that they may start to lose weight as well. Unintentional weight loss is a hallmark sign of multiple types of cancer, including lung cancer. It has been estimated that patients with advanced lung cancer may suffer severe weight loss in as many as 70% of cases. This finding is common in patients with lung cancer because cancer cells generally divide at a rapid pace. This means that they have a high metabolic rate, causing them to absorb essential nutrients from the body. This leaves fewer nutrients available for the rest of the body, leading to weight loss. So if you've recently lost a significant amount of weight without changing your diet or exercise habits, it's important to see a doctor. Next up is shortness of breath. As previously mentioned, dyspnea and shortness of breath are two of the most common symptoms of lung cancer. Studies found that more than 70% of patients with lung cancer eventually develop breathing difficulties. This can occur when a tumor grows and causes an obstruction in the airways of the lungs. It can always result in inflammation, leading to increased feelings of breathlessness. In addition, lung cancer may cause fluid to accumulate in the space between the lungs and chest wall. This is known as pleural infusion and can cause difficulty breathing. If you've never had trouble breathing but notice that you're struggling to catch your breath, it's important to see a doctor. This is especially true if the symptoms are accompanied by other signs of lung cancer such as chronic cough or chest pain. Another early warning sign that you must be aware of is chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue is another hallmark sign of multiple types of cancer, including lung cancer. In fact, researchers found that fatigue is the most frequently reported symptom in individuals diagnosed with this disease. That's because people with lung cancer may experience dyspnea and hypoxemia. Dyspnea is a feeling of breathlessness, while hypoxemia is a condition in which the body doesn't get enough oxygen. These two symptoms can lead to fatigue, making it difficult to perform everyday tasks. Furthermore, as previously mentioned, lung cancer often leads to malnutrition and weight loss, both of which can contribute to fatigue. The next early warning sign on our list is recurrent lung infections. That is because cancerous cells can weaken the immune system, making it more difficult for your body to fight off infections. In addition, tumors can grow and obstruct the airways, leading to a buildup of mucus and bacteria. This creates a perfect environment for an infection to take hold. Again, if you're suffering from recurrent lung infections that just won't seem to go away, it's important to see a doctor. This is especially true if the infections are accompanied by other symptoms and early warning signs mentioned throughout this video. If you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you'll enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we're not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy my friend.